My name is Mac DeMarco. We're in a, a hallway in a place called Milk Boy in a city called Philadelphia. And now we're about to play rock show tonight. I've been playing music for five or six years or something in different shapes and forms or whatever, but and touring a little bit here and there, releasing stuff of my own, releasing some things on labels, and then all of a sudden signing to Capture Tracks in New York, it was like, that was like, I mean, it still took a little bit of a gradual, but it was going like this, then it started going like this, then it was like, Bee! so, yeah, things got crazy really fast. We seem to have been striking a chord with young kids a lot. They're like just first year college kids or like high school kids. Played a couple all ages shows and sometimes when we play festivals and stuff, it's like the West Coast, especially young kids are like it's like, oh, oh man. You know, they treat us like celebrities or something, which is so funny to me, but... Like, I'm sure older, normal, like, people like me would probably be like, oh, cool record, but they're not gonna come up and be like, please, uh, sign my butt cheeks or something, so... A lot of moms have told me it sounds like Jimmy Buffett, which I don't know if it's a compliment or a... Yeah, I guess I'll take it as a compliment, I don't know. The way it works for me, I, like if I have one song, uh, I don't know, it's usually a chunk. They'll all come as a chunk. The thing for me is like if I'm at home long enough and I'm like in the mood to record, I get in this like weird zone, but it's hard to get into that zone. Like when you're at home, especially because there's so many distractions, it's not like you're going to a studio and you're like, I got five hours in here today to work or something. It's kind of like, I'm eating eggs on my couch and like, oh, there's my guitar. Like, Should I play it or maybe I'll just keep eating my eggs. She'll say that her and me were meant to be together. And time may pass and it may go fast. But we'll I think the point where it was like my real thing was when I started making enough money off of it where I didn't have to work. But being able to make money off of it is a little bit like it freaks you out a little bit at first. You're like, well, like this is my job now? Like, what? And it's uh, weird, but, you know, it's a blessing. Man. So it's cool. You can't really take something, you know, oh, I want to be a successful musician, and you get there, and you're like, oh, man, this is so hard. Like, come on, guys that do that, shut up. Yeah. It's weird because when you hit like a little bit of like the, the music industry is like we like you man, we like you, we're gonna make the people like you. And you get this weird pressure, the pressure's on, next album, where is it, what are you gonna do, you know? But what I've been doing this summer is kind of like, I finally realized like who gives a about that pressure, like, why would I be worried about that? So, you know, it's like refining the fun aspect to making music. It's not about worrying about whoever's gonna like it or not, because I don't really care, you know? Should be making it for me, and you know, other people obviously, but not, you know, no pressure, I think.